Officials say a man wearing body armor and wielding an AR-15 style rifle tried to break in, firing a nail gun at people inside the visitor screening area. And it appears he had been thinking about the attack for days, posting Tuesday about a call to arms and his desire for patriots to kill federal agents after the raid at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. The suspect identified by law enforcement officials to NBC News as Ricky Walter Schiffer, apparently pictured here outside the Capitol during the January 6th riots. According to police, the attack in Ohio started at 9.15. Schiffer then fled in his Crown Victoria, speeding onto the interstate. During that time, he appeared to post online about his failed attempt to break in, writing at 9.29 a.m., I thought I had a way through bulletproof glass, and I didn't. If you don't hear from me, it is true I tried attacking the FBI. That message shared on Truth Social, the social media platform founded by Mr. Trump's media company. The standoff lasting for hours in a cornfield as authorities tried to negotiate until... Officers tried to move in uh, using less lethal tactics to take the suspect into custody. Uh, the suspect then raised the firearm toward law enforcement and that's when the shots were fired at the suspect. Schiffer died at the scene. The FBI was already on alert after pro-Trump internet forums erupted with violent threats in the days after the Mar-a-Lago search. Earlier this week, FBI Director Christopher Wray was asked if he was worried the search could trigger retaliation against the FBI. Any threats made against law enforcement are, are deplorable and dangerous. Political rhetoric also ramping up. This is the FBI being used as a political weapon. It's like what we thought about the Gestapo. Republican Congressman Paul Gosar earlier this week tweeting, we must destroy the FBI. Overnight, Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney, one of the leaders of the House's January 6th investigation, writing she was ashamed of fellow Republicans attacking the FBI, adding these are sickening comments that put the lives of patriotic public servants at risk. Thankfully, no law enforcement were hurt during this attack. The department here in Cincinnati for the FBI saying it takes any threats or violence against its agents extremely seriously, and they are investigating. Craig? Stephanie Gosk on the ground force there in Cincinnati. Steph, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.